Hi guys, what is the source of your joy? What is the source of your happiness? In as far as I'm concerned, my source of joy and happiness is the little success that we can count because this is very significant. These are significant things that would happen in our life. Some of us are dreaming about big miracles. Some of us are dreaming about big success. But in my case, the little successes that I experience inspire me to do a lot more for a bigger victory. And this is what we're doing right now. You can see that this area is barren and this is filled with grasses. But I really had the positive mindset that in the future, I can develop it and I can make this profitable. And lo and behold, we are now doing the good thing. We are raising this azola. We are also raising the catfish and some mollies. And I'm looking forward to also establish a fish cage for our Japanese koi. And right here, we're aiming to clean this up for our chickens. Well, I'm thinking about an elevated chicken coop with an elevation of at least two meters above the ground because this is a disaster prone area. This used to be flooded. But I'm very positive that if we can establish an elevated coop for our chicken, we can be successful. By the way, I would like to give you some tip on how to use this grass cutter. Of course, if you are going to cut this type of grass, we have to use the blade instead of the nylon. And this blade should be sharp. And of course, in doing these things, we have to make it sure that you are standing on a good ground. Because if you will slide, then that would be a disaster because you are using a very sharp blade. In the manner of cutting, of course, you have to cut first at the top, down to the bottom. So what I'm doing here is getting some of this water spinach so that our birds can eat early in the morning. And this is my routine actually. And I would like to do this myself because I'd like to make sure that our birds are eating clean water spinach. And uh, we will use the boat, of course, because uh, we cannot use the dike because it's wet. It's still very soft. By the way, we have tried elevating this dike yesterday and it's really quite you know, soft that we cannot step on it and we will use the boat. We have the small boat now and then the next activity would be the harvest of our Japanese koi because our circular tank had been doing good for us. So this small amount of water spinach is already very good for the health of our bunnies. So I will alight from here and we will use our boat. So this is our boat. Uh, row, row, row your boat. Uh, <laughs> Gently down the stream. <laughs> this is nice. Wow. Okay. We can do this. We can do this. Because, uh, uh, yes. And uh, See, wow, <laughs> I'm quite relaxed now using the boat because I know that I can paddle it correctly.
<laughs> Our bunnies are really now hungry. So we will go direct to the bunnies uh, coop and we will feed them with water spinach. And this is exciting. Bunnies! <laughs> Rabbit! Yoo-hoo! Gigutom na mo? Ah, good! Yan ang pagkaon! Pamahaw! Ah, pamahaw! This year, pamahaw! <laughs> okay! Tabang yun, may pamahaw na rabbit ni! <laughs> You know, this small amount of water spinach is really good for the bunnies. But we cannot, this will only compose of the 10% of the feeding composition. But we cannot overdo the use of this because they will also, you know, suffer diarrhea, especially if the water spinach is not that, uh, you know, clean. So we will try this. Of course, I will align this. We have our stop here. Oh, Ah, Okay. Bunnies. Rabbit. Good morning. Good morning. Wow, you're already big. Rabbits are already big. And two months from now, I think we can start segregating them in individual cages. Because these rabbits, when get matured, should be put in individual, you know, cages because they will start chasing or breeding. And uh, this is it. You look at this. They are waiting for this water spinach. See that? Wow. That's it. And I don't spend too much about the food because we are just outsourcing the source of food in the vicinity. And uh, I'm so glad that we are almost zero about the expenses of the food. So we're training our rabbits to eat fresh. Of course, if your rabbit is not used to eating fresh, then I would advise not to do so immediately. We have to gradually do it because they will really be affected. And that's my experience. I've been raising rabbits, hundreds of them, in fact, close to 1,000 rabbits in the past. And uh, right now we are doing this back and as soon as we can make this elevated coop, we will also get back to the rabbitry. It's raining and let us check the eggs of our Moscow ducks. I have prepared, you know, I'm, I'm quite disappointed with this Moscow ducks because I prepared a beautiful, you know, this uh, nesting materials elevated, made of bamboo, but they didn't like it. They prefer to you know, lay eggs in the bushes. We can open this one, of course, you will see. But it's safe. Wow. And it's dry. Oh. Okay, I don't want to disturb you, but I'm gonna lift this up so that our viewers will see your eggs. Can I touch some? No. <laughs> they really have that capacity to discern. Because this area is quite elevated. And uh, last night, it rained so hard that I am so surprised that this area is still dry. Of course, we cover this with this galvanized sheet to protect them. And uh, we are looking forward to harvest more than 10 because this mama here is sitting on 20 eggs. Imagine, 20 eggs. And if she can hatch 10, only 50% of it, that's 10. So maybe 12 or 13 that's good enough so we will wait for maybe two three weeks from now before we're gonna see ducklings i just i'm just crossing my fingers come on let's harvest our japanese corn
is a significant thing for me because this marks our success, the fruits of our labor. So these are the things that I can share with you and I hope you are encouraged with this video. And if you are not subscribed to this channel, I can be asked you to please subscribe and hit that notification bell because we are uploading videos every two days now. And I would like to see you in my next video, only here at Victor's World.